In order to learn more about the My Life Bits project, we traveled to San Francisco to speak with Gordon Bell and his colleagues at Microsoft Research. What I'm working on now is the finishing up of a project called My Life Bits, which is to capture everything in your life. And really, in a sense, is still in operation because I'm writing a book. Gordon's book, Total Recall, takes a historical look at the way technology has augmented human recollection and leverages insight from the My Life Bits project to explore how it may do so in the future. It was co-authored with his My Life Bits colleague, Jim Gemmel. Well, I was uh, hired into the lab to work with Gordon and to try and give some legs to some of his ideas. And uh, we actually started out doing telepresence, video conferencing, and a number of uh, different things to do with networking. And while I was diving into the details of that, Gordon was uh, off trying to get rid of all his paper. The need developed for a telepresent worker that you had just an awful lot of paper and stuff. Uh, so I kind of got the notion of, of wanting to be paperless and wanting a streamlined office. Well, right at the beginning, Gordon wasn't too bad about it. You know, I, hate, I refused to throw away some of the stuff. Some of the things that are historically based on his career, I really don't want to get rid of. And, and he agrees. But he's been, um, it's been easy for him. It's, I think it's really been an immense relief to get rid of some of that junk he's carried around for years. In 1998, uh uh, Raj Reddy contacted me from, about the Gutenberg project or a million book project and they wanted, he wanted to store a million books. And so he said, can I have some of your books and we're going to practice on them? And so I s said, hey, sure, Raj. I mean, if there's any problem with copyright, why Microsoft's got a lot of lawyers and we can, we can get out of those, those problems. At that point, I said, gee, I've got all this these banker boxes of stuff that I've been carrying around. Why don't I, I mean, I want to go, you know, I think I'd like to get rid of all this paper. What is it like to do that? So I started in 99 scanning stuff. He hit a point where he had scanned his paper and he was uh, enjoying getting rid of paper, but he couldn't do much with what he'd scanned. And he said, boy, this is, it's all just a bunch of bits on my hard drive. I need to do something better with this. And we also started talking about the idea of storing more and more in his life and collecting more. And we said, hey, you know what? There's software to write here to really do this right and really tackle this. And so that's where I got involved. Uh, I started architecting some software. And we hired a fellow named Roger Luter to, to write the software for us. Oh, the other thing that was a motivation is build Bill Gates, in a nine, his 95 book, had said, someday we will be able to record everything we, we have heard and seen. So that was, a, was a, uh, a kind of a landmark. In addition to scanning all his documents, Gordon wears a camera and digital voice recorder. His other gadgets include a GPS tracker to log location and health monitors to grab biometric data. Every bit is saved to the computer. It was something we built up to, actually, that we realized at first we said, do we want to keep this or that? We'd even have arguments about it and say, well, let's delete some of the clutter. And eventually we said, no, we want to keep as much as we can because the software can reduce the clutter. So if we have uh, too many copies of a web page that's virtually identical, well, the software can detect that. And it can hide the copies that are virtually identical. But then on the day when you say, oh, gee, I do have 20 copies of, say, the New York Times homepage that day, but I actually do want to see that ad for a certain you know, hard drive or something that I want to buy, now you care, care about having the copies. So um, no, we're really at a point where keeping everything is, is getting feasible, and it's not too much for you to handle. The software can narrow it right down to just what do you want to see. I think one of the things he's mostly been interested in is, okay, here now we have all this information. What do we do with it? Um, how do we work with it? How do we organize it so that it's usable for the average person like a you or a me? And I think that's really, once he started accumulating all the information, I think that got to be his biggest focus is, okay, now I've got it. What do we do with it? And, and how do we make it work?